Happy Friday, everybody. As we wrap up this week's topic on depression, I wanted to share some untold secrets to depression relief that you can do in right around less than 10 minutes. Some of them is even faster than that, okay? So let's just kind of talk about those secrets. So secret number one is warm water is your friend. And I wanna break that down into two things because when we are dehydrated, we, our body and our brain doesn't function properly. In fact, it actually slows down and it temporarily triggers more stress and sadness and pain. So the first thing is drink some warm water. Not only will that calm the nervous system, but it will help hydrate the brain quicker because it can absorb faster than ice cold water. So that's part of secret number one. That is the whole warm water is your friend. The second thing is get yourself into a warm bath or just take a warm amount of water or warm washcloth and put it over your face. Instantly, it sends a signal to your body like that of you being in a womb, which is a safe place. It kind of takes you back to that place where instinctively you know you're safe. So warm water is your friend. Secret number two is to bring a smile to your face. When we are feeling depressed or down in the dumps or just struggling a little bit, that seems like it is so hard. So what you can do are two things. One, find a funny video. It sounds so simple. There are on TikTok, on Instagram reels, Facebook reels. Find a video that makes you laugh, even on YouTube. Or get on the radio and pop in a song. Just yell to your Google or Alexa, hey, I need a song that makes me laugh and smile. And think back to the song that when you were younger, you were driving your first time around 16 and you rolled down the windows and you're singing and you're dancing. That's the kind of song you want to do because that song or that video will put a smile on your face. And secret number three is that science is our friend. Just like secret number two, when you do new music or laugh at a video, you increase the dopamine in your mind. And that hormone, that feel good hormone is what helps you feel better and lifts the dark clouds, right? And just like that, the goal to flipping the switch and feeling better is to increase the amount of good hormones that we have in our body. And sometimes we all need help in doing that. And I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if you need medication to do that. But what I can tell you is there are ways that you can increase your body's natural, holistic um, ability to create hormones those feel good hormones, the serotonins, the dopamines. And you can do that by addressing the gut brain access and your microbiome. So how do you do it? In recent years, it's been interesting. I've been doing so much research about studies that scientists have been doing. And what they've been doing is they're proving that you can increase the serotonin and the dopamine by adding feel good hormones um, feel good bacteria into your microbiome. So what that does is it actually fixes, my dog is making me crazy. She's like out there howling. So I'm getting a little bit distracted. So bear with me here. Oh my goodness. My dog is the opposite of dopamine and serotonin. Let's just say she is my anxiety craziness. But back to what I was saying, you know, what it does is it fixes the signals and it tells our body to make those hormones and make them available naturally. So, and I know that when we do that, we can feel better, right? And I've put a video in the comments below that does a much better job of explaining what the scientists are talking about because I can't do it justice. I just know that when you increase the good bacteria in your gut microbiome, you feel better. And that video will give you a lot more information. So, you know, we are all about action here. And 
to feel better, you got to do something different, right? So in the comments below, let me know which secret kind of resonated with you, which one you're going to do. And let me know how it goes, because I always love to hear other people's experiences in trying to feel better, because we can all help each other do that, right? And, you know, ask any questions. I am always here if you need help and just reach out because I would love to help you feel better. So this is untold secrets that we don't always talk about for depression relief that you can do in under 10 minutes. Have a great week and I'm excited for next week's topic, but I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Have a good one. Bye.